Hello Internet World, welcome to my review of the OWC Thunderbolt dock. This was very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer. No money's exchange hands, they haven't asked me to say anything in particular. I'm just going to share with you my experience of using this over the past few weeks so you can make an informed buying decision. So let's get on with the review. As I mentioned earlier, this is the OWC Thunderbolt dock. This is their very latest Thunderbolt 4 dock. Come supplied in this box, we'll take a look at this in a short while with all of these contents that you see in front of you. So inside the box, we get this here, which just gives you some details about the specifications and how to contact support. It actually says on the front here that this works with Mac OS 11.1 or later, or Windows 10 or later. And it works with any Apple M1 Mac, Intel Mac with Thunderbolt 3, and any Thunderbolt 4 PC. So some really important information on that sheet there. We also get a power cable. This cable will vary depending upon which country you're purchasing this in. So you will get a country specific power cable inside the box. The correct connector on this end for your particular country and then a clover leaf type connector on the other end which goes into the included multi-voltage power supply. This is the multi-voltage power supply. You can see here, we've got a cable coming out of it with a barrel type connector that's gonna go into the dock itself. And then that uh, receptacle here, the port for the cloverleaf power cable. Then we get a Thunderbolt cable as well, really high quality Thunderbolt 4 cable. It's quite short in length, but it's long enough and it's a really high quality cable. We also get the dock, of course, itself. And then before we look at the dock, let's just take a quick look at the box. So here it says massively expand your Thunderbolt connectivity while adding Ethernet, audio, card reader. Uh, it also works with USB as well. And you can connect lots and lots of peripherals to something like this. On the end here, we've got the specifications. We've also got the dimensions as well. And the fact that this is backed up by a two year warranty. And if we take a look round on the back here, we've got some details about the actual ports laid out on the back of the dock. We're going to take a closer look at those right now. So the dock is really quite compact. When you purchase this brand new, I've left this on on purpose just to show you, it does come with this plastic film on the top, which you're going to peel off before use. There's also an additional uh, plastic film on the bottom, and we've got some little rubberized feet on the bottom as well. This is what we'd call the front side of the dock. So we've got a full size SD card reader on the front here. We've got USB 2.0, we've got headphone, we've got the connector here where you'd plug in your laptop. That could be something like a MacBook Pro, for example. And this supports 96 watt charging. So not only will this connect your MacBook or Ultrabook to all of the peripherals you've got connected, to the back of the dock, but it will also supply 96 watts of power, so it will charge your laptop as well. Got Thunderbolt dock written on the side here, and then if we take a look around on this side, completely clear. If we take a look around on this side, we've got a Kensington lock, so we can tether this to a desk. And then around the back is where we've got all of the other connections. We've got the input for the power supply, three Thunderbolt 4 ports, which are backwards compatible with Thunderbolt 3. They're also compatible with USB-C devices as well. Then we've got the gigabit ethernet port. And then we've got three USB 3.2, 10 gigabits per second ports as well. So really nice array of ports on the back. And you'd use a dock like this, so you could have all of your peripherals connected and your ethernet, some extra things here like hard drives or maybe printers. And then with one cable, you can plug into the front and have access to all of those peripherals. Now those peripherals you plug into the back could include something like a display as well, so an external monitor. So this really does make plugging your laptop in and getting down to work when you're at home very, very easy indeed. I've used this for the past three weeks now and it's worked absolutely flawlessly. Nice fast card reader on the front, brilliant array of ports. The OWC Thunderbolt 4 dock comes highly recommended. If you want to pick up one of these for yourself check out the links in the video description if you enjoyed my video hit the like button and also please do subscribe to the channel i publish new tech videos pretty much every single day 
And if you want to check out more details about this particular dock, there's also a link in the video description to the manufacturer's website. Thanks for watching everyone. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you in another video very, very soon.